friends. You and I both have friends all over the spectrum. I got friends who are psychiatrists who I will go have dinner and I'll just say, you are destroying earth. And they'll say, you're an idiot, right? How do you stay in relationship with folks who have same credentials, both see, also see patients and see the world a little bit differently? How do you, how do you stay in relationship with folks like that? How do you stay in community with people like that? Yeah, so for, for me, uh, it, it's this way. One, I know what I'm called to do. Like, yeah. I, I think this helps a lot. I think when you know... Uh, you're wise big. You're responsible for this, uh -huh. but not for this. Yep. Th then that helps. So for me, I know I'm responsible for three big things. Loving God, which essentially means for... I just want to clarify, for me, that means having an intimate relationship with Him. I know He hears me. I know how how uh, just what a good dad He is. And... And also loving somebody, I know his dreams. I know his desires. I know what he wants me to do. I'm being obedient. I'm having this, I'm, I'm being trustworthy with him. So I'm building a deep interrelation relation with him. So I'm loving God, loving people, and I'm trying to make earth a heavenly place. Those are the three things I believe I've called to do. Gotcha. And so with that, loving people means it's not me, you know, forcing them to do anything. It's not me trying to push my political opinion on them or my diet, op health opinion or anything else. It's seeing them where they're at. And trying to, you know, there's a great book by Tim Keller. I love it. It's The Meaning of Marriage. And our job as spouses is to make each other holy. And you don't do that by forcing it. You do that by living a life yourself. You do that by encouraging people. You do that by uh, finding the greatness in them and supporting and calling out and saying, doing a combination of, I call it, this is, I believe, what leadership is. It's nourishing somebody, loving somebody, and then challenging them, holding them to, a, and, and, and showing them what they're capable of and the ultimate thing that God's called them to do. In that order, so, right? Exactly. Which I love, yeah. And, and, so, and so what I try and do, if I'm in that sort of relationship, it's, hey, Paul, man, I, I love that you're doing this. I love you're doing this. By the way, I saw this interview. Man, you are so well. Like, I, I'm encouraging them, and, I'm, and this isn't inauthentic, and so I'm calling out what you are great at, and then also, but you know what? I really think you should consider looking into this because I think this is a little off. I had this personal experience where I saw this, but hey, just want to let you know still, hey, I love you. I, I just, I, I love what you're up to. So you, you know what I'm saying? It's just sort of love like, it. and it's also a love sandwich there too. Of course so it I'm, is. Yeah, yeah, but, of but, course but, it is. But that's, so, so I think too, and because it, we're in a difficult world today with the heated political tension where it's really easy for me to see somebody and think, it, it's easy for me to become resentful. Yeah. Really easy for, I think most people too today, especially when we're talking politics and these different things, but I think I got to realize they're not called, and I'm not called to make people believe like, like I, I, I believe. I, I'm called to just nourish and challenge them. Serve other people. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have come to love having a collection of friends who are also experts who I disagree with. I, I've come no. to just love that um, because if I just circle, surround myself with the same books that I've read the f same five times and the same perspectives – I know one thing. I know I'm just gonna sit where I'm at, right? And there'll be no, there'll be no growth. There'll be no movement. There'll be no anything. And I end up just sitting still, right? And it becomes I've just become a boring, lazy person. And so I, I've come to love that. And what I'm trying to do is to get outside my head and say, is there a secret sauce to that? Am I just built weird because I love disagreeing with people in in lovely, fun ways over meals? I'd never. I just don't understand fighting, but I do love healthy discussion and I, I just makes my, my life more rich. Um, but I love to hear that from you too. Well, I, I love this because th there's a book and uh, a, a person who actually mentioned me year, years ago, his name was Skip Moen and he has his PhD in Hebrew and not just Hebrew, it's the Hebrew of, the, of Genesis. Mm -hmm. And so he wrote a book and it's really good. It really goes through the Hebrew perspective of Christianity and the war and worldview. It's a yeah. book about worldview. And he really looks and he said, listen, the Western worldview is all about black and white. We're going to debate, and essentially you're my enemy here in Western worldview, what was brought up by the Greeks and especially the Romans, and sort of this thing where it's like, you're right or wrong, everything is black and white in that way, versus the Eastern viewpoint and really more of Jesus' viewpoint or what practice even in the East today is, now, hey, listen, we're going to have a conversation today. We don't have to completely agree with each other. We're called to love and support each other, but, but we, we, we can have a d disagreement and, and argue, and that's normal. In fact, the, you know, when you read a, in the New Testament, read all about rabbis, rabbis were constantly— oh, That's the part that, of the joy, right? That's it's, right. Yeah. And it was over meals, as you're saying. And so I, I, think, I think remembering that it's not about being—today, it's all about are you right or are you wrong? Who wins and losses, right? Yeah. And, and today, it's, it's like, 
that nobody, we've all heard this quote. You've probably said it on your show. Nobody wins an argument. Right. And so I think keeping that in mind that it's not about winning or losing. It's about, uh, you know, loving God, loving people, making earth a heavenly place. What what can you do to help do that? And that's what, and even in business right now, like we're so conscious of that, healing the planet, helping heal people. Um, you know, I think, uh, again, th- those are the things I think that I just constantly try and keep top of mind. Love it, dude. 